John, that was for you, despite the fact that my drone oscillators worked on. Turned on. Thank you. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I know. Until the I, end, I, but I it's really nice. <laughs> so, so I was actually doing that with one oscillator and one filter and a guitar. So, uh, any questions? How did you get that little echo bleeping in there? Echo bleeping? Yeah, I can kind of hear this pulse as you were playing. No. Uh, I'm using my utility one module. And basically, it, it's a clock, but it has a divide by two and a divide by four register. Oh. And what I did is I'm, I'm triggering an AD envelope generator off the main clock, so it's giving me a, a four times count, and it's just a real quick envelope on the thing that's running to a VCA and, and uh, uh, in the filter. But then the pitch is going to the modulation input on this oscillator. So every time this 15 volt key comes up on the divide by four, I just got the mod input set up so it only takes it up a fifth. So it just goes back and forth. It's a double hit on the low end, double hit on the high end. In parallel to that switch, so it would uh, so it would uh, start stop with my feet because my hands are busy. <laughs> Any other questions? Nothing. When's the U.S. tour? <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so you didn't get to hear the handy con very much. I'm I'm afraid to say, but basically. I had this set up for, for changing the, the filter. This, 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 this introduces an LFO to the filter. This takes my uh, my second pedal. Oh, what you didn't hear is on the very last part of that, I had one of these oscillators go up three octaves and put a vibrato in it. So, but this brings up the other oscillator. So no matter what I was doing in here, I always had one at a low drone, unless I did both, but it wouldn't have the low end, but we didn't have the low end anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, uh, this, this introduces a slower vibrato on the other, and this is actually the speed. I have a voltage controlled dual LFO now, so this is actually controlling the speed of those LFOs, and then this one was just controlling the amplitude mod on the on the, the drone, so I can speed it up too. So anyway, that's the kind of stuff I was supposed to be doing that I didn't. But you can use your imagination. Yes, Russ. Are you going to um, release kits for five U kits for <laughs> all of your modules? Uh, I don't know about all of them. Um, anybody, Thank you for doing the ones that you have done. Any, anybody uh, last January? I started offering my circuit boards, it was built and tested circuit boards, and they're really small boards. But people's biggest complaint is, <laughs> i got to buy into a new format. Well, not necessarily, buy my boards. They're cheap, they're all around 75 bucks. And you get a handy dandy wire kit that you can buy, price depending on how many wires there are. Um, give you a little sheet. It's also a PDF on each page on my, my website that tells you uh, what other panel components you need and what they get connected to. And people are actually calling to finish it yourself. There's a whole group of people that are really getting into that. So that's kind of nice. I just put all these on sale. If any of you go to Muff Wiggler, I just did an across the board uh, do-it-yourself module, 10% off for the first four, 20% for anything over four. So if anybody's interested, you run over to Muff Wiggler and do that, but uh, Bright Chamber, Scott Dale, Bright Chamber, uh, my voltage controlled mixer, which is basically a quad VCA, but it's a mixer unit at the same time. Um, people kept asking me if I could break them out independently. I said, no. So I ended up coming up with a new product called the quad VCA, which is basically this, but each channel is brought out individually. So you get this, or you get this, and this ends up being a mixer as well for each channel 
sends up, you can bring them out individually. I found out these are really addicting because I came out with a quad uh, ADASR envelope generator, which I have in here, which is neat because it's four different ADs and they're just simple sprinkle around utility modules. And But each one has a dip switch on the back and the do-it-yourself guys can actually bring that thing out to the front panel. Obviously with 16 holes filled up, I don't have room for switches, so I got a dip switch that you can set it to either attack, sustain, release, or, or just attack, decay. So it'll just do a one shot and die until you re-trigger it. But Scott Dale came up with this 5U uh, VC mixer kit. This is my format. This is 5U. <laughs> uh, same, same board. <laughs> but people like John like to keep slim and trim and haul these things around. It's <laughs> not <laughs> and, and as you can tell, he gets no or very little sleep every night. So, <laughs> so I went this route because I'm getting too damn old to haul things like that around. It's almost getting to the point I can't haul this around. 